In today's video, we don't know much about art, but we know what we like. G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you're doing well. And great news for me is that school holidays started in Japan and being like a pretend teacher, I get lots of time off as well. So I've got like five or six weeks off. So stoked. Which means I might be able to do some more car spotting, which is my true joy. I get a camera, I jump in my car, I drive around and see some strange or cool cars. It's what I absolutely love. One other thing I love is sticking things on my wall. Check it out. Now, it's really hard to see. The glare is an issue, but what if I did that? Now today I have three cars for you and they're all the same car, amazingly. 1996 Honda Integra Type R, not a DC2 but a DB8 and no, not that little round droid from Star Wars, that's BB8. And let's get really confused, do you remember this Type R I saw a while back, it had the four lug wheels, so it would be a 1996 spec. And there was a big hoo-ha over the legitimacy of this, is it a Type R, is it not a Type R? But the wheels, yeah, four lug, four by 114 mil, and yes, real Type R, but I'm wondering if this four door Integra is going to cause the same hoo-ha. Well first let me say that this car truly did exist, there are sales brochures on Yahoo Japan showing the DC2 Coupe and the 4-door DB8, so it's real. Also if you want to see a fantastic example with English narration you have to check out Pacific Coast Auto, they did a video or Derek did a video and you get a really good look at this car inside and out, under the bonnet, in the interior, in the boot even, check that out. And the final pieces of the puzzle are the three DB8s that I've seen around the place in the last 12 months. So it did start about 12 months ago. I was in the car park of Stance Nation Japan, which is Boost and Butt Floss. And there it was sitting in the car park all by its lonesome. I got like four or five photos, that's it. And then the next day in my neighborhood, literally a hundred meters from my house, I saw another sedan. Now again, I feel the need to manage expectations I'm a car spotter, I spot cars. Interviews with owners and full reviews, looking under the bonnet, the interior is not something I can always do. Preferably, I'm in there with my camera and then I'm out of there without speaking to anyone. It's way less trouble. So there's that one which I'm just going to leave there for just a second and then in the last two or three weeks I've seen another two. One over near where I work which is very far away and one near my house which is there. Actually they're the same car. I checked the number plate. So without getting overly forensic on these cars, I think we can confirm that the DB8 is a real car and that at least one of these three is real. Or is that our real? Either way, my money is on these being real. So Derek over at Pacific Coast Auto suggests that the two-door is better on the track, the four-door would have a little bit less rigidity. He also says the four-door body is longer, which makes a whole lot of sense, and I'm thinking by about 50 millimeters. Now I did find myself in a bit of a pickle here because I did not get an engine photo of any of these cars that I've seen, but thankfully Danny Carlson from Northwest Classic Honda sent me a few. This is the USDM version and that's the best I can do people. But the basic specs are engine is a B18C, 197 brake horsepower, transmission is a close ratio 5 speed and it has the limited slip def. Well, that's it for the DB8 Integra Type R sedan, or is it a four-door hardtop? Check out that car on my wall, that is a 1985 Holden Calais, my first car, and the only car I ever bought in Australia. So I actually commissioned this amazing piece of art, and Accent Creations did a fantastic job. And question of the day is, what car would you get rendered like this to put on your wall? And tell me your connection to it. Is it your first car or a car you would like to buy in the future? Please let me know. And the Hayashi Racing t-shirt will be picked by, excuse me, a representative of Hayashi Racing, so it's all going to be official. Please wait, like, maybe the next video, okay? So I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching and take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi, gals and a little bit of wasabi.